Hello there, everybody, and welcome to this feature presentation on YouTube. I am King Mac, your hamburger pal. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to enjoy a hot, fresh cheeseburger along with some delicious golden french fries, a tasty milkshake, and a nice soft drink. Also, be sure to grab some hot buttery popcorn while you're at it as you enjoy this episode of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. Welcome back my friends, you're watching TT Burger Game Reviews here on YouTube and I'm your host Tony. Sorry to say my voice is still a little hoarse but it's slowly but surely getting better. Our voices should be back to normal in no time for sure. We are in episode 260 of my TT Burger Game Review episode 260 part 1 of 1 part again. Before I get started, you're wanting to shout out to Freaking HD and Substitute MS for King Mac, along with that Hyper Lamb and your State Stateside, Meg, Griffin Pop, Black Heater, along with the Home Yard J, Uncle G, or Rockstar Pool 69. The, the, sens the, the sensational gen, Red Hunter Sashin, V Rock Game, The Desperate 22, and more and more and more and more and more. And today, we're going to talk about Space FMB Rail Shooters. There's tons of them, popular ones, mainly like, um, like, um, Van Ark, there was also Total Eclipse Turbo, Starfighter, and stuff, and they had some Star Wars ones as well, and there were also some crappy ones like, yeah, looking at you, Jupiter Strike, right there, yes, looking, looking at you. Right, right, right loud and clearly. And more and more and more and more and more. And today we're going to take a look at an obscure one here that a lot of people don't, don't really remember because they didn't own a 3DO or didn't play DOS or anything like that. But we got the game right here. This is Nova Storm for the PlayStation 3DO, Sega CD, and DOS. At least first in 1994 on 3DO and, and the Sega CD. And then a year later, 1995 on the PlayStation and DOS. We got the PlayStation version. It's the only version I have. Let's get started here. Nova Storm is an average decent FMV space shooter that I'll admit has some fun factor, factor in it and has those FMV like scenes and fast gameplay action, colorful graphics and more, but there are issues like the unbalanced difficulty, the short length, and not much story and repetitive gameplay and such that, that hamper the game, but I gave it credit because it was an early 90s real shooter so I understand why it is the way it is, but it will not be getting a super high score though, so let's continue. When we, when we start Nova Storm we are greeted with this FMV scene and we see this guy who is our boss and has some pretty hokey voice acting like a, like a clown who just got done with a circus performance and quits his job at the circus and finds a job as a space general boss in an office and 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 just talks to you while he's having too many bottles of beer and he tells you how, how the human race is because the complacent dude of the computers taking care of everything and it felt like nothing could go wrong until they learn of a dangerous super highway and history starts preaching an armed revolution you pop the scavenger for space fire you, you go to canyons glaciers go into cities and more and more and more to stop the deadly scarabax and you must face obstacles and fight enemies along the way and the story is okay not the best but still better than, than like jupiter strike and defcon 5 etc the story is told via fmb scenes and cg scenes which are some of the best parts of nova storm and Due to the graphics looking excellent and colorful, full full environment, main main the F and B scenes, they look almost like DVD quality, minus the frame rate rate and stuff, but they, they look amazing and that is expected the same with the CG scenes. The in-game graphics look a little blocky, but nothing that bad. The scavenger force ship model has a lot of detail to it, the explosions and the enemy models are detailed too. There are vast disadvantages of areas you battle in, like I mentioned earlier, but we need to continue. Nova Storm has mixed sound, more leaning towards the negative side, like the, like the voice setting is awful, overly hokey, especially from your boss or talks to you at the beginning like like like, like he's drunk. Music is a hit or miss depending on what kind of uh, miss person you are. Some of the songs sound good while it's not so much. The sound effects of your uh, of your ship's blaster and enemies just blown up and more are good to say the least. Nova Storm's game, but it could have been better. I mean, there are some fun moments to be had here, but shooting enemies and getting upgraded and stuff and just having fun killing the enemies and go from point A to point B. The game is on two discs, loaded with FMV scenes and more, and you'd think it would be loaded with content, but not so much, sadly. Sure, it has fun gameplay elements like in Star Fox and such, but the problems start with the unbalanced difficulty where half the time it is pissed easy, overly or, or, or to overly hard for no reason whatsoever to add frustration factor to it. And it can get a little, little repetitive, all you're doing is shooting the same enemies over and over, and you can mess with the difficulty settings and number of lives you always get killed somehow, either in a boss fight or from the regular enemies if your health is low. You can get power up like in a rail shooter by collecting these gold medallion looking things that either give you life one ups or so, or on hands or so, and more and more, and they will come in handy when you were almost dead, while other times not 
so much that you don't know what, you, what which one you'll get. Sometimes they disappear and you, you get close to them, and and you get the get the one you're not expecting. It can add more to the factor. And even when you do get it, your health will drain again. Stuff in the later areas, stuff that you do with the, with the, the hard areas and stuff. And when you die, it shows this cutscene of your scavenger force ship blowing up. It looks cool, but seeing it every time you die it gets a little annoying. Like, really, do we need to need to see it over and over again? Nova Storm is very short, like only an hour long, and you get the high score, you can play it again if you handle the difficulty. And I mean, it's not a bad game, but it's an average Fairy Mioka game. That's all I, it, all it is. I mean, it, it has good stuff and bad stuff, which leads us to right now. That's pretty much all I got to say here. Final thoughts, if you enjoyed, like, 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 the games like I mentioned before, then Nova Storm should be worthy of your time. Probably a rental, so I'd die, but probably nothing more. I give Nova Storm a 6 out of 10 because of the problems I have with it. Not, not the best game, not the worst game either, but still. Give it a rental if you want. And that's it for episode 260, part 1 of one of my game reviews here. Stay tuned for episode 261. What will we cover then? Well, you have to find out, which is all I gotta say. You know what to do? Hit the subscribe, like, comment down below. Join my Discord group, TTBurry Gamers Unite. Follow my Facebook group, TTBurry Gamers Group. Follow my Facebook page, TTBurry8. And just comment and like and whatever you, whatever you like doing. Which is all I gotta say. This is Tony. Peace and out. Have a great day. See you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody.